Steve Holtzman has helped put on a lot of elections. I've been a chief inspector for about, I don't know, 15 years. He says in all of that time, he's never seen something quite like this. When you, you're dealing with election, there's always little things that come up. This is a big thing that came up. Flooding in a city storage room where ballot counters are stored is making this election one he'll remember. Well, there's never ever been anything quite this extensive. What they at first thought was just some water damage to a few machines turned out to be nearly 200 machines now destroyed. Well, it's been a little stunning. This is a huge curveball that we've all been thrown to recover from. The makers of these machines told the city that even the slightest water damage was enough to deem the ballot counters unusable. It made the machines unreliable. And nothing can be unreliable about voting machines. They have to be 100%. And with Election Day right around the corner... There's no time to waste. I don't want to count the ballots by hand. And he shouldn't have to. The city clerk says new machines will arrive early next week and will be ready in time for voters to cast their ballots. We'll be ready for them. This is not an excuse not to go out and vote. There is one voting machine that survived the flood. It had been taken out of storage last week for a kids' carnival to teach kids about voting. The city says they're currently looking for a new place to store their voting equipment and that things should be running smooth. Right. Now, the important thing here is that people will still be able to vote on Tuesday, August 9th, right? Not a problem there. That's right, yes. The city clerk says that they will have replacement machines in early next week. Everything should be ready in time. Okay. Who better to cover this for us than Hannah Flood? <laughs> The flood reporter in this case. That's Thank right. you very much, Anna. <laughs>